What's up guys, this is a video on how to do your measurements properly. Um, the things that you will need is just a measuring tape that has inches on it preferably. If you want to do centimeters, that's cool too if you're on the metric system. We're not because we're in America. Uh, but So we're going to do the measurements that I would like for you guys all to do. Uh, if you are a woman, there's a couple things I want you to do. We are going to do your hips. Going to be, come over here Jay, come over here hips so we're gonna go around the biggest parts of her hips around her butt so around the biggest part of her butt all the way around will be her hip measurement okay That's we're also gonna do it's a big one so uh, <laughs> then we're also gonna do the waist about where right above belly button belly button basically the tiniest about an inch above the belly button is where we're looking at okay so we'll measure all the way from around there hands are cold sorry and then we're gonna go around your left leg Left thigh, about very center. This is your left. Around the center, sure. Around the very center of her leg. So about mid thigh, we wanna go around there. We'll do the other one also. And then we're gonna do her arm. So I don't want it flexed. We're gonna send it straight, stop it. We're gonna send it straight out around the biggest part of her bicep. Okay. Uh, for gentlemen, if you guys want, you can go around your chest. You'll send your arm straight out. And then we'll do the tape measure underneath her armpits. I'll just show you an example. So you'll go underneath your armpits here, cross your chest, and then you'll drop your arms. And then take that measurement as we're looking for. If a gentleman, if you want to do your chest measurements, okay? So measurements, I'll show you exactly where I want them. We're gonna do hips first. Hips first. So face me. Oh, sorry. Face me. So you're gonna go around, like I said, the biggest part of your butt is what we're looking for, around your hips there so we would take that measurement there okay and then we'll go around your waistline like I said about an inch above your belly button on the smallest parts of your hips squeeze there take it nice and tight and take that measurement and then left thigh like I said mid midway turn it down a little bit turn down for what there we go Turn down to measure. All right, so like I said, about mid thigh is what we're looking for. That's where we want to shoot for. Boom. And then we'll do the other leg, obviously. And then we'll do the arm. You usually have people stick their arms straight out. If you have a partner who can do this for you, or you can do it for yourself. Around the biggest part of her bicep, she does have some clothes on. It's going to be a more accurate if you take your clothes off, but it's totally up to you. Around there. And that's where we want to do. Like I said, gentlemen, if you want to go around your chest, or women, you can do this also. If you want to go around your chest, we send your arms straight out and then drop your hands and then take your measurement from there. Got it? So, like I said, hips, waist, uh, both legs, both thighs, uh, both arms, and then chest is optional if you'd like to do that. So, these are very important for your progress. Uh, the scale may go up based on if we're strength training, uh, if you're in a calorie surplus or a deficit, the scale is going to jump up and down. But if our measurements are getting better and your body fat's coming down and your clothes are starting to fit better, that is a real success. There's so many factors that go into actual physical weight loss. Uh, and if that's not a goal for you, then we need to be really looking at progress pictures. Should be done every week. And then measurements that we'll try to do every four weeks will be the goal for those. Okay? Uh, much love. We'll talk to you guys later. Hope this helps.